Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can do texture painting in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here I got this model already set up and by the way I am using Blender 3.1 so first of all we need to unwrap the model here basically we are unwrapping the textures into 2d image so first we need to do that so in order to do that first let me select this model so if I move on to this UV editing tab here you can see it has got unwrapped already and by the way if the model which you are using is not unwrapped we can do that simply by selecting the model let me select this mode so you can see we are in this edit mode here B on the edit mode select all the vertices by pressing A on the keyboard okay press U and select this smart UV project and island margin let it be 0 0.05 so this will be the distance between each islands here and hit ok so here you can see we got our uv separated and this uvs are laid onto this 2d image okay so once this is done let's move on to this texture paint so here i will be showing a stripe method so move on to this texture paint so here our model is in purple color which indicates there is no texture or material applied onto this model so for example if i take this brush and if i change the color and if i try to brush on this model you can see we got this missing materials or textures detected so think this in a way that if you want to paint something first we need to have canvas or a piece of paper where you can paint on so for this model there is no canvas available now so first we need to create that canvas so in order to create that canvas let's create an image for that so for that come to this active tool and workspace settings so in texture slots change this mode to single image and we need to create a new image think like we are creating a canvas here so click on this new button and let me rename this as skull paint and here i will change this to 2k resolution so 2048 and 2048 so this is 2k and rest and all leave like that only and simply hit ok so now you can see we got that canvas created so now we can paint on this model so scroll down blend mode let it be mix only and this indicates the radius of brush so if i increase this radius you can see the radius is increased and the shortcut is f and scroll the mouse sideways to increase or decrease the brush radius here so i think this is fine and color let me change this to red okay and now i can paint on this skull here okay so here we can select faces and we can directly add material or add color onto that so let me show you how to do that so undo this one okay so now hold control tab holding those two options move on to this edit mode so that we get into this edit mode here now move to this face selection so now if i only want to add material onto this lower jaw excluding this above skull portion so let me select a single face onto this lower jaw now press l on the keyboard for this linked meshes you can see we got this mesh selected in this uv also so now hold ctrl and tab and move to this texture paint make sure we have selected these faces and later move on to this texture paint and enable this mask option here simply click on this paint mask option so now we can see we got only this lower jaw so now we can take the brush and we can paint it manually or else we can add some color with a single click. So for that we need to select this fill option. So let me select this fill and let me change the color to red once again and just click on this lower jaw. So now you can see we got that lower jaw completely in this red color. So after that again click on this mask option to get out of that. Okay. So now if you want to add some color onto this eyes. So here if I press Ctrl plus tab and if I move on to this edit mode and if I select this face and if I press L on the keyboard you can see the upper skull portion is getting selected. So in these cases let's 
change to this circle or you can use lasso so i will move to this select circle option and now here i can select the mesh here so let me select the mesh here like this so here you can say i have selected these faces here and now if i want to desert these things hold control key and again drag on them to desert the faces here so let me add these few faces and here also let me deselect these faces here okay so now we have selected these faces now hold control key press tab on the keyboard and move to this texture paint option and enable this mask option here and select this fill tool either you can draw them manually or else you can select this fill tool and now let me change the color to dark gradient radium color and simply click here so now you can see we got that color fill okay so again click on this mask to get out of that and the important thing is make sure we are saving the images here so come to this image save the image here so let it be png or else let it be png only and we don't want this alpha so let it be rgb so i will save this on d drive and let me rename this as curl paint one okay so make sure we are saving the image or else when we move out of this texture painting this blender will not save the texture what we have done previously so again we need to start from the scratch so make sure we are saving the images continuously whenever we are painting in this here so here you can see i have added these few colors onto the skull so now if i want to view this in material viewport so currently we are in this solid viewport so if i move on to this material viewport here so suddenly you can say there are no colors appearing on this skull so for that we need to add textures here material here so come to this material properties so let me move on to this layout here and let me come to this material properties so being selected this skull model click on this new material so principal bsdf will be added now come to this base color here click on this yellow dot here and add this image texture so now here we already added an image right which where we have painted our colors so that image will be under here so scroll down come to this drop down options here this is the image so click on this skull paint option you can see we got our colored skull here so if we move on to this render viewport here still the colors are there but the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so quickly let me come to this world properties color add environment texture and let me apply an hdri here so here i got this hdri open image so now let me add ambient occlusion let it be 10 and if you want we can add the screen space reflections and refractions and let it be transparent so now you can see we got our skull painted in this blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye